here bringing you a Let's Get Scared Daylight. Um, actually kind of messing with the volume here because it sounds really friggin' loud. Like, it doesn't sound loud here, but it sounds loud when I go back into it. So I'm just gonna start a new story and see because I don't want to blow out my own eardrums. But then again, I, I don't want to have to yell for you guys to hear me. Now Markiplier here. I don't need to yell every second. That's not a knock on Markiplier. I love the guy. Uh, zoom in, use drop. Escape, pause, and map. Glow stick, flare, E is throw, shift is sprint. Okay. Let's do it. This looks fun. What's that? Uh, Sarah, no matter where you go, there you are. What the hell does that mean? Yeah, alright. Okay. Right. Prisoner 52 seems to be experiencing visions of shadow people. Doctors uh, on site keep trying conventional therapies, but I believe we need to start thinking about new procedures that push what we've come up with to date. What kind of, why is this lagging? Uh, my computer is far too boss for this to be lagging. So, none of that now. Saving content. Well, that's good. You probably didn't see that, seeing as it's behind my webcam. Wait, oh, there's something else. Oh, there's going to be a lot of reading in this. Damn it. Mid-Island Penitentiary has recently announced the name of its new head physician, Dr. Walter Mercer. Known as a leader in both smallpox and tuberculosis research, the city of New Kipling has expressed its excitement in having such a talented and passionate recruit on board and ready to do battle for the health of its citizens. Oh, isn't that nice? Why is it that you're just stuck alone places all the time? With almost, n and you just wake up there. Like Outlast, you drove up. I guess that. I guess Outlast is a little different than that. But for the most part, you just kind of wake up where you are. Like in Vanish, you just wake up in a sewer. Use the light to find the answers. It will tell you where to look. Okay. I have all the glow sticks I need. Whew. What? You back the fuck off, buddy. I didn't see anything, but why'd you open? Am I in the Matrix? What is this? What? No. I think that was dumb. Uh... <laughs> Patient, aged 10 months old, has been readmitted by her foster parents due to odd and frightening incidents that occurred shortly after she had left the hospital. Oh my god! The memories will burn into your flesh. Don't what? let them see. Don't let who see? The shadow people? Is that who I'm running with? Uh, okay. I just kind of threw one there. Keep on going. Uh, no. I thought we don't be a douche. Ugh. Are you screaming at me? I didn't do nothing to you. 
What the hell is this? Um. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna leave. Just gonna leave. Well, that's a crazy symbol on the map for that room. <laughs> okay. Don't be a dick. Please and thank you. I didn't do nothing to you. Don't do nothing to me. Come on! Anything in there? No. Uh. I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Okay. Weird. I don't like it. Give me that, whatever that is. Patient suffers from hoarding problem, frequently hiding items she can get her hands on. Patient has been observed clutching objects and mumbling to herself in nonsense phrases described by staff as disturbing. What was the red glowy glowy over here? Noise is disturbing as hell. I'll tell you that much. What's that? Yeah. Oh, Billy! Billy! Speaking of Markiplier, Billy, I saw someone down on the uh, in the boiler room tonight. Bastard made me nearly jump out of my skin. Ran off before I could get a good look at them, though. Nobody but me and Adam should be down there, so it better not be one of the orderlies scoping out a spot to put the moves on one of them nurses. Damn. Ruining our good times. Just make sure people are doing their job and not screwing around in my boiler room. George. Alright, George. Don't even need to be such a dick about it. We all get it. Don't want people messing around in your boiler room. Graffiti and stuff. What am I supposed to be doing? Besides finding those thingies. Ah, piss right off. Piss right off. Hey. You give me that. Billy, I'm done with this hospital. I ain't dealing with this crap anymore. I saw something down in that boiler room and one of the orderlies saw it too. It ain't right and I'm not staying here. Uh, to find out its intentions, George. Well, George just got scared off. Stop making noises. What the hell are you? Need the key. Oh, I don't have any flares. I don't have flares. What am I supposed to do about that? Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck off. With your bullshit. It's dark. Okay. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I know there's something here. Don't you be a dick. No! Come on! I don't have flares! It's that room I need to be at. I don't like this. I would assume the key would be in here. Ugh. Okay, maybe not. Try to not search somewhere I was supposed to. 
Everything seems straight out of here. This is where I started. Did we go upstairs or nothing? A cow. Okay. We are but one thread woven from the web of life. All things connect. All things are bound. Run. Don't you do it. I'm gonna say, I swear to God, if all of a sudden, bang, I was gonna scream like a little girl. I don't have flares. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? Well, there's anything I can do about that. Glow stick back before I go screaming into the darkness. It's a really dick move. These shadow people are not very nice. Just throwing that out there. Anybody there? Hey, dick in here. Oh, what's that? What was that? I don't know. Staff responded to screams coming from patient 60 E's room. On arrival, there was blood all over, and the patient was slashing herself repeatedly with a scalpel. It is unknown how she acquired the implement. While she was, uh, oh, there was a lot of blood. None of the injuries were deep or serious. They were all surface cuts, as if she was not really trying to hurt herself. Just make a giant mess. Patient 60 E has been, rem uh, rep uh, Remanded to wait has been remanded to solitary uh, confinement as a danger to herself and others. Dr. Mercer has also now directly taken her on as a patient. Hopefully, he will be able to cure her of her inner demons. Doesn't look like that worked out in anyone's favor, to be honest. What the hell is this key? I want this way. I go this way. Yeah, shut the hell up. I really don't like that. I really don't like that at all. Yeah, we can use it. I didn't need to throw. Dr. Mercer, nurse uh, Foster has complained that orderly William Farish uh, disappears for hours at a time during shifts, and when he finally shows up, his hands and knees of his pants are as dirty as though he's been digging, uh, digging in the dirt. When she asks him about it, he seems confused and asks where he can bathe. This is the fourth complaint in two weeks about Farish, and I thought, about, uh, thought the matter should be escalated to you. Thanks for passing on all your bullshit to me. Like, I want to deal with that. I saw a red glow glow. What's that? Dr. Watkins recommended removal of all possessions from patient room, uh, patient's room as a means of curing her fantasies. Patient became violent during uh, extraction. She seemed particularly fixated on an old doll and cried for days after its removal. That's not really nice. Also doesn't seem that nice to don't know, don't care, run this way. Shut up. Ah, I see it. They've revealed the sigil. Reclaim it and bring it to the gateway. They've what? History of a new kid who wants a small fish village and gonna blossom into a prosperous town full of eager and optimistic people. The town facing overpopulation and limited resources looked to other options to sustain its people. Reports seeing shadowy figures in his room at night. The staff has been uh, advised to indulge patient in his delusion in order to avoid aggressive behavior observed in patient 15. Patient remains in his room under mild observation. 
Oh, that's nice. Patient, aged seven years, has been experiencing a fear of monsters in her room at my at night. A night shift nurse consoled the patient by reaffirming it was only her imagination. The patient successfully began ex uh, exhibiting uncontrollable violence towards her and staff member herself and staff members. The patient has been restrained and moved uh, transported to solitary confinement. People are just going fucking nuts. History of New Covenant. The Puritan Church of New uh, Kipling pronounced that a dark time had engulfed the town, prompting some inhabitants to flee in fear for their lives. In order to keep the peace, the local church and town elders and, uh, instated mandatory church attendance laws. Well, that's weird. where the sigil should have been the whole time. Shit to see anything. That's nice. Shut up. What was that? I don't care. Shut up. Shut up. Oh my god. What was that sound? I don't care. I don't care. Oh, that's nice. Saving content. You know what? That seems like a good uh opening to this horrific game. What the hell? No, I, I, I understand this is coming out like in a day or so, so I did watch like a little bit on it so I would know. I didn't see anyone's playthrough appear with that bitch already. Why am I unlucky? Good lord. Huh. That actually uh, got me. That made me very nervous. Uh, the amb uh, the ambiance of the, the and the constant sounds of shit going on. I'm sure when she heard some of that stuff, if I turned around and looked about, I would have found that shadow girl again, and or shadow person or whatever the hell it is. But uh, damn, uh, this game is going to be extremely exciting to play. That's all for now. We'll pick it up again uh, right where we left off. Uh, this has been Katie's Black, you know, uh, let's get scared. Daylight, as always, have yourselves a good one. Bye-bye.